hello everyone and welcome back to the channel you know it's wolf and i'm back with another reaction um <laughs> cj the champ another video i'm telling you another video uh light yagami <laughs> enemies deadliest serial killers too i didn't see the first one so i guess i'm gonna have to check that out retroactively so people i'm telling you it's it's good it's good to see some some great anime content on, on, on youtube right now yo one of my favorite anime creators are on the verge of probably disappearing from 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 freaking youtube because they they are being copyright struck uh, by freaking shueisha providing news commentary and uh, breakdowns and stuff like that if you don't know i'm talking about uh, anime balls deep so yeah we might lose them. A, a, a freaking good, informative anime creator from 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 YouTube. We might we might lose them. So yeah, people. Hopefully, we still we still have a lot more um, anime creators here that we can enjoy these these videos <laughs> videos from. You know. That aside, let's let's get this. Let's get this. Let's enjoy this together. Yeah. If you don't know, like like Yagami is a character. Some people might say a villain from uh, <laughs> from Death Note, you know, the anime Death Note. But I'm telling you, I really, I, I, I was really siding with Light in, in this one, I'm telling you. <laughs> but he is crazy. I'm going to jail! All righty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for another <laughs> installment of anime's deadliest serial killers. And today we dive into the case of the most notorious serial killer in anime history. And that is none other than Kira, AKA Light Yagami. And mm -hmm. my God, with all the evidence in the amount of victims this man racked up, this case is going to be a beefy one. So let's stop wasting time. <laughs> so without further ado, it's time to dive in to the yeah. Kira case. The Kira case. Light Yagami, one of the most diabolical niggas to ever exist. A man with a kill count that ranges in the six figures and had a whole cult praising this nigga, thinking that he's the Messiah. I need somebody to help me glorify God and stretch out your arms, open up your mouth and say anyway. But you have to wonder how the actual f did this generic ass background character looking toothpick built ass nigga become one of the most notorious mass murderers in fiction? Well, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, that is why we are here. So first off, we need to know what the hell the weapon was to commit all these homicides. And that of course is the death note. Now I'm pretty yeah. sure everybody knows how this thing works, but if you forgot, here's a quick refresher. The human whose name is written in this note shall die. The note will not take effect unless the writer has the person's face in their mind when writing his or her name. Therefore, people sharing the same name will not be affected. If the cause of death is written within 40 seconds of writing the person's name, it will happen. And finally, after writing the cause of death, details of the death should be written in the next 6 minutes and 40 seconds. Now, with all that explained, we can now move into the first major incident. And that is very, very thorough, you know, very thorough. But damn, yo, in, in my opinion, all the people that, 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 that deserve to die, in in death note you know they got what what they were supposed to get you know yeah those people caused major suffering but yes we have laws for a reason and they're freaking supposed to go through the system and get rehabil rehabilitated but in some cases that does not happen that that not happen that not happen none at all yes and it's fiction people that is, of course, the first confirmed 52 victims. Now, when Light first found the Death Note, when it conveniently dropped right in front of him, he thought yes. to himself, man, this is some bullshit. What is this, a sick joke? Who the hell would believe this? But Light being a little curious George decided to take the book. So later <laughs> on, when Light got home, Bro was a little bored. So he ended up thinking in his head, mm, I mean, it doesn't hurt to try it out, right? So Light's intrusive thoughts took over. So he ended up turning on the news and hearing, Breaking news, a local 
crackhead is holding eight children hostage at a daycare. So Light said, F yeah. let's write this guy's name down. I mean, he's a criminal after all. So 40 seconds later, the news comes back on and says, breaking news. <laughs> the children have been set free and the assailant just over and died. <laughs> well, this man Light was shook. He was like, no, yeah. no, 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 no. It, it was just coincidence, right? <laughs> No fucking way, right? But it was no coincidence. Yo, and yo, this is kind of entertaining. I might speed it up just a little bit, but this is kind of entertaining because it's been years since I watched Death Note, so I don't mind. I might not react, um, remember everything correctly, but this, <laughs> this gonna be entertaining. I, yo, I'm locked in. This local crackhead was the first victim of light, but light needed more proof because he thought it just had to be a random coincidence that bro had a heart attack when he wrote his name down. So later on that same night, while light is walking back from cram school, he ends up seeing this lady walking and these bikers come up and start to harass her. So ugly biker bastard right here ends up saying, hey, dear pretty lady, <laughs> how about you go fuck with a real nigga? Come in, who uh, spit on that thing for me? <laughs> so these freaky ass niggas try to redo a healer shorty in the parking lot. But light was in the convenience store watching the whole thing like not on my watch you 69 gods so he wrote bro's <laughs> name down and made the cause be of accidental death and the rest was history old girl breaks away while ugly bastard tries to track her down and just like dude got isekai right there you know the the truck coon is undefeated i'm telling you undefeated <sighs> they, yo they need some they need people freaking uh, don't, don't freaking get, <laughs> they need people to freaking get rid of truck and I'm telling you. But we wouldn't have a lot of um um power fantasy isekais if he, if if they did, you know. <laughs> like that light caught another body, and this man was stunned. He was like, no, 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 fucking way. <laughs> I, I, I just summoned truck coon. I must be a fucking god. And at this point, <laughs> Light's God Complex was born. This man went back to the crib, locked the door looking like he about to beat that thing, and said, <laughs> I'm about to cleanse this world of its garbage. So this man looked up a list of criminals and just started getting active. This nigga started writing so fast, it looked like he got an essay due the next day. And he just started racking up bodies. Body, 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 going crazy thinking in his head. Yeah, that ugly bastard that was talking to that little girl the other day, enjoy being unemployed with Dr. Disrespect. <laughs> and this man went through enjoy being unemployed with Dr. Disrespect. Remember Chris Tyson, keep that in there, you know, you know, you know, if, if, I mean, if, you know. <laughs> The whole night just writing down names until two whole pages were full. And look at this man breathing hard as hell, looking like he just ran a 5K. And just off of that one night, this man killed 52 criminals. Now, here's the wild part. That was just criminals that died of heart attacks. Because when Interpol got this information, they was like, there could be some people that were unaccounted for. So that death toll could have easily been over 100. Yeah. So after Light racked up all of his first victims, the name Kira started spreading like wildfire because Light was constantly oh, dropping off niggas. Every single day, he was killing multiple criminals. And people all around the world was supporting this man they had reddit threads and discord servers just blazing this nigga and this just amped up his god complex even more bro just looking at this light yeah that's right glaze me nigga polish this willy and of course now he got this a1 instigating shinigami ryuk attached to his hip the whole time now but even though light was killing only criminals at the end of the day ryu and yo i'm not gonna spoil anything well yo yo if, spoilers spoilers if you don't want to be spoiled you can't skip this part Ryuk is, yes, a Shinigami, a, 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 a freaking Grim Reaper, God of Death. The entire, this entire anime was just entertainment for Ryuk. And at the end of, the, of it, <laughs> Ryuk got to kill light, you know? Yeah. A lot of stuff happens, but yeah, um, if I'm re remembering correctly, that should be how things end. <laughs> Day, it was still murder. And this is when this man fell for the trap. Now, this is a moment where you just think to yourself, what if Light never made this crucial mistake? And that mistake was killing Linda L. Taylor on live TV. So, a yep.
A worldwide public service announcement comes on TV, and this man announces himself as L. But obviously, this ain't L. But Light didn't know. So Lind L. Taylor starts speaking and saying, Good afternoon, world. My name is Lind L. Taylor. Kira, if you're watching this, we have a message for you. You are evil, and you are just a mindless serial killer. And I'm gonna bring your punk ass to justice. So <laughs> while Light is watching this, here come this instigating ass nigga. Ooh, Light, I'm not gonna lie, that nigga pressing your shit right now. So what the <laughs> fuck you gonna do about it, huh? So here come this man, Light. His ego is challenged. You think I'm f evil? Put it on that fucking yapping, nigga! I am God! And you can suck my divine dick six feet under! So like God- Yo, yo, this dude, this dude. <laughs> and that's like, literally, that's literally the energy he was portraying, because that God complex was active. I could work quick. He wrote bro's name down in a heartbeat, and after he finished, he was like, yeah, that's right. I'll show the world what happens if you defy me. So, 40 seconds later, and Lint L. Taylor has a heart attack, crops over, and dies. And here go Light thinking he got it in the bag. What's wrong, huh? Get the fuck up, huh? But see, you was talking about that shit! What's going for, nigga? Huh? <laughs> I can't believe it. You was one dumbass nigga. You really think I'd get my introverted ass on TV and f***ing press you like this? You one stupid ass nigga. And now I know all your shit. The dude you just killed? Damn, he was good for execution today anyway, so he could go f*** off. Also, this is not a worldwide broadcast. We only broadcasting this in the Tajo region of Japan. So guess what, motherfucker? I know exactly where you at. So come on, motherfucker. Go on ahead and try to kill me. Do it. Come on. I'm waiting for you right here. Don't be a pussy bitch. Show me you got some balls on you. Or is it that you need a name in a face? <laughs> he got your ass. Did it be me though? <laughs> Kira, notice. Oh my mama, I'm coming for your bitch ass, and I'm gonna put your fing ass in the slammer. So after this man L yeah. played light like a fool and pressed the living hell out of him, the investigation on Kira went into full effect. So this is where we move on to our next set of evidence and next set of victims. And Yo, and that is where we got introduced to the real MC, you know, the real MC. The real MC which is at which was actually L. Ah, I'll tell you. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm full of unpopular opinions. I was actually on light side, you know. <laughs> Maybe I was in a dark place. I don't sure. I'm not sure. But yes. And I'm probably still on the side. They were both good characters, but yeah, I'm still on light side, you know. And our first key victim is Ray Pinber. Now, Ray Pinber was a FBI agent. Yeah, this case got so big that this man L ended up getting help from the FBI to come solve this case. Because that's how horrendous this shit got. Because Light was murdering like 23 niggas a day at this point. He was dropping at least one body an hour and just toying with L the whole time. So L suspected that whoever Kira was had to have ties to the police. Because how the hell would this person be getting all this information on these criminals? And what do you know? Light's dad is the police chief. So L basically made every single person that had ties to the police be kept under surveillance by the FBI. And Ray Pimber's job was to survey Light. And obviously, Light didn't need this type of heat. So Light decided, I'm gonna have to put this man in a coffin. So Light came up with this devious ass plan. <laughs> and that was the bus jacking incident. So for this, Light needed a guinea pig. So he found another local crackhead on the most wanted list, Kichiro Otsuruda. I'm not gonna lie, I just butchered that man's name. So the second yeah. part of his plan, he needed a shorty. <laughs> so this man dialed up one of his shorties on his roster and called her and said, Hello? I'm over here stroking my dick. I got lotion on my dick right now. I'm just stroking my shit. Yeah. I'm horny as fuck, man. I'm a freak, man. Like, for real. <laughs> what? Freaky ass nigga. <laughs> so then. <laughs> he a fan. <laughs> he a fan. He a fan. He a fan. Okay. Next day, Light ends up meeting the girl to go on their date to Disneyland. And of course, Ray Pimber is right behind them following them, all according to Light's plan. So they end up getting on the bus, and Ray Pimber sits right behind them. So about a good 15 minutes later, they stop at the next bus stop, and the local crackhead gets on the bus. And this man wasted no time. He cocked back the gun and said, All right, everybody, sit the fuck down and do your best roles of person impersonation. I'm gonna blow this nigga brains out. But, but, but please, I ain't playing with you, nigga. So this man called up Disneyland and said, Bring your all the cash you made today and make sure yeah. the nigga that's bringing out got on a mini mouse costume <laughs> sir we're able to comply with your demands but why the mini mouse costume so i can get my nut off nigga the fuck else you expect <laughs> so while this lunatic is high out of his mind and going wild this man ray pimber leans over and says all right y'all like he said stay calm and do your best rosa parks impersonation my name is ray pimber fbi so when this man light looked at this man's id bro just smirked and thought in his head <laughs> stupid ass nigga all according to plan so Light digs in his pocket and drops a piece of paper on the floor. So the crackhead's like, the fuck you moving for, you little shit? You, you, you 
You want me to blow your brains out, nigga? But Light meant to drop that paper because that was a piece of the Death Note. So Old Boy turns around and starts tweaking because he ends up seeing Ryuk behind him. So Bro just starts emptying the map, trying to shoot this man Ryuk, but obviously it ain't working. So Bro ran up to the bus driver and said, I don't know, get me off this bus. So the bus driver stops. Bro runs out into the street and Cartoon comes flying down the street and splatters this nigga's guts like the Nickelodeon logo. And of course, of course, Light is sitting on this bus with no emotion, looks at his watch and said, 1145 on the dot, right on schedule. Light staged this entire bus jacking, because using the death note, he made this man board the bus, attempt to hijack it, then jump out and get hit by a car due to accidental death. And then at the end of this, Ray Pember thinks nothing suspicious of this man, because he thought, huh, I mean, it couldn't be Kara, because he would have just offed him when he got on the bus. So now this man does not suspect Light, <laughs> and Light has his name. So after Light boomed the second local crackhead, it was time to move into phase three of his plan. So about a week later, at a subway station, he ends up seeing Ray Pember walking. So Light puts on his hood looking like he about to hit a lick. So he gets behind him and says, Ray Pinmer, don't move a fucking muscle or I'll drop your ass right here. So Light tells this man that he's Kira. And to prove it, he said, look over there. You see that nigga with them glasses on? I'm gonna drop that nigga right now. And Bro right here starts having a heart attack and dies. <laughs> Bro straight up off this man in the public eye. And then Light told him, don't worry, you shouldn't feel bad for him. He was a registered sex offender and a PDF file. Caught him. And uh, yo, that's the, that's, 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 that's. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's <laughs> that's crazy bro yo dude got a rack sheet and i'm telling you if a lot of people are honest with themselves they would want that to happen too if a lot of people are honest with themselves and if they have the power to do that they will freaking go on a trip they will freaking they would crash out <laughs> they would go crazy yeah with all that power I'm telling you, remember, we have laws for a reason, and if we didn't have them, it would be chaos. So, yeah, this is all fiction, and I have to do that because I'm, you know, I'm on YouTube, where you know, impressionable minds, people, impressionable minds. I'm talking to three little boys the other day. So Light gives him an earpiece and tells him to board a train. So later on, when he boards the train, Light tells him to open the envelope and he sees all these papers. So Light says in his ear, I want you to write your boss's name in every single FBI agent that came here in Japan. Do what I'm gonna drop your ass and your bitch right the fuck now. So Ray mm -hmm. Pember writes down all the names. So after this, Light told him, wait 30 minutes and then get off the train. So 30 minutes pass. Ray Pember gets off the train and it happens. <laughs> And right before the lights went out, this man looked up and saw who Kira was the whole time and thought before he died, you've got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> so after the lights went out for Ray Pinber, so did the rest of the F. And that was diabolical. That was diabolical. That was that, 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 that right there is an epic troll. <laughs> and that, and that freaking, uh, that freaking, <laughs> that phrase that I just said. Yo, <laughs> be honest, because the crazy. sheet that Ray Pember wrote those names on were death note sheets. So the other 11 agents that were in Japan and his boss shortly died right after Ray. And just like that, Light Yagami did the unthinkable. This man bitched the FBI because the director of the FBI calls L and tells him, Mr. L, um, I'm sorry, but America's going to have to pull out of this one. This shit's getting out of hand. Now, it seems that Light is ready to make his victory lap, <laughs> but there was one problem. There was a loose end, and that loose end was Ray Pember's fiance, a former FBI agent. So she did some snooping around and quickly figured out whoever Kira was had to be on that bus. Also, she ended up figuring out that he can kill in other ways besides a heart attack. So a couple days later, she goes to the police station because she's basically figured out this entire thing. All she needs to know was who was on the bus. So when she goes to the police station and asks to speak to Light's dad, who was over the case, just by coincidence, Light walks in and overhears her talk talking about it so light was like who the hell is this flat armor not coincidence bro. bitch so he walks up to her and tells her hi excuse me ma'am my name's light pleasure to meet you you see my dad is the chief of the police force so i can help you out real quick you know what i'm saying <laughs> so they end up walking outside and they start chatting it up so the first thing light asks is uh miss beautiful miss um can i have your name so she says um yeah uh, my name's shoko maki so light already has the name so now yeah. his plan was to just talk her up figure out what she knows and if she knew too much he was gonna offer so they kept on talking and she just kept on yapping but everything she said was right and the real stinger was 
She said that. Um, yeah, um, so my fiance said that he showed somebody his ID and he wasn't supposed to. So whoever he showed his ID to, yeah, um, that's most definitely Kara. So Light was like, shit, she knows way too much. She got to die now. Because if they pull up in bus cameras, Light's cooked. So here goes this sinister <laughs> ass nigga. So Bro starts asking her questions, but in reality, he's writing down her name. So Light thinks he's got her. But a couple of more seconds pass and she's still alive. Nani? So Light ends up figuring out because Ryu's ass was laughing at him the whole time that she used the alias. So that was not her real name. So Light is starting oh, to panic. It is do or die right now. Because if she gets back to the police station, he's done. So he pulled this last trick out of his ass and pulled her. Well, you see, ma'am, um, it's going to be actually impossible for you to go back to the police station because they're very busy right now. But it's okay, though, because I'm on the Kira task force. Oh, my gosh, really? Yeah, I have connections to L2. So this Pinocchio, <laughs> long nose lion ass nigga basically baited her. Freaking Usopp. Yo, Usopp, Usopp catching strays, but, but it's accurate. It's true. That's that's Usopp. He freaking <laughs> Usopp of the tall tales, I'm telling you. Usopp of the freaking bald face lies, I'm telling you. Yeah, but, you know, he was simping for, 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 for a shorty, you know. Yeah, so <laughs> he, he was making up stories to impress her. But she she didn't care that it was all fake. She liked him either way, you know. Yeah, but he just didn't. He just was the weird. Her and told her, you know what, ma'am, you are really smart. You should join the task force with us. All you got to do is show me your ID so I can check your credentials. So obviously she jumped at the idea because she wants to bring her fiance's killer to justice. So she whips out her ID and it's over. Light saw her real name, wrote it down. It made the cause be of unaliving herself. So right before tragedy was about to strike, she asked this man, um, why do you keep on looking at your watch? Oh because I'm Kira, duh, stupid bitch. And it was over. She ended up walking away and she's going to underlive herself in GTA. And while she's walking away, this sick nigga is just talking and saying, oh ma'am, um, what's wrong? D you still need to use my phone, right? I thought we were gonna catch Kira. And what makes this even more tragic, they never found her body. We don't know what the hell happened to her. All we know is that she unalived herself. And with that, the bus jacking incident comes to a close. Y'all ready, chop, chop, move. And yo. <sighs> I'm not okay, yo. I'm not okay, cause it, uh, my, yo, it's people are so, so selective, you know. So some of those people, yo, <laughs> they didn't deserve it. I'm telling you, they didn't deserve it. They didn't deserve it. They know it deserved that that type of issue. But I'm telling you, some people, it's selective when you when you're judging. It's selective when you're judging. When you have like you're selectively judging people by your morals that you have. You're gonna freaking want a, a certain type of people that have done certain heinous actions to get the maximum penalty, you know? Yeah. Some, if they get rehab rehabilitated and can reintegrate into society, they, yeah, they deserve another chance. But I'm telling you, <laughs> some people don't care, especially the ones that, they, that the act was perpetrated against. They, they don't care. They want revenge. And that, that I can understand. So that is why I, I, I somewhat revel in all of this. <laughs> Remember, I'm a crazy person on the internet. I'm just here to, uh, to, 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 you know, sensationalize and enjoy content, you know. Moving on, we got more people dying. Flip the board for our next set of evidence. Now, obviously, we know Light's biggest opposition is L. One of the smartest characters in fiction. This nigga's enemy yes. Sherlock Holmes. And this man was on Light's ass 24-7. Because he always had a hunch that Light was Kira. I mean, he literally walked up to Bro and said, Hey, man, uh, my name's L. And I think there's a 5% chance that you're Kira. What? <laughs> I I'm not sure all the way, but... Dude go end up on wiki feet. <laughs> but, yeah. He he really is. This dude is freaking artistic right here. And this is the type of artistic genius that you're going to find right here. <laughs> There's like a 5% chance, bro. He had this man join the Kira task force to keep an eye on him more. He even had cameras set up in his room watching him 24-7. So you know damn well that he was watching him yanking his shit. <laughs> that, be that is traumatizing, bro. That is traumatizing to think about. Do not put that freaking thought in people's heads. <laughs> that is not, that is not good. That is not good. He acting like I'm reaching. You think Light was cracking me, so Fuck no, he hated this bitch. Speaking yeah. of that, let me go ahead and introduce the accomplice. The second Kira, Misa. Absolute brain dead. This girl suffers from brain dead. Yes. And she's getting... <laughs> 
suffer from pain. Yo, tell me if you don't have a, a younger sibling or a, or a freaking child family member that you you walk across and they they're watching YouTube that you see that freaking that's freaking shit. Yo, brain ring. This girl suffers from brain. That 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 freaking yo. You see this face right here. It's on a freaking like 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 that handsome Roblox character meme, you know. And they put that on that, and then then they use a freaking AI to move the the the, the potato on two freaking legs. How the hell does does a potato get legs in the first place, bro? But yo, the the the, the with the the, the Cotton Eye Joe uh, song on it, yo. Yeah. And she's just uh, deeply in love with this nigga. And the reason why is because her parents were murdered. And lo and behold, yeah. guess who brought justice to the murderer? Yeah, <laughs> off that nigga. And how she got a death note is even crazier. One night she was walking home and she got approached by some crazy ass stalker nigga. And he was ready to kill her. So a shinigami named Jealous that was weirdly in love with her decided he to is. save her life and kill the stalker at the cost of his life. So Rim decided, uh, I might as well give her the death note. He would have wanted it this way. And Tada, Miss Brain Rot became the second hero. So Light yep. decided to use her because she had the shinigami eyes and she. Oh, and that other, that, 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 that dude. He probably was in love with her also, so because of that, <laughs> she got two supernatural beings simping for her, bro. That's 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 a different level. These all have thoughts that got nothing on her. <laughs> Yo, I, I need to stop making jokes, man. I'm been, I've been on the internet too long. <sighs> back, back to more internet, you know. But yeah. <laughs> Yo, some manipulation is in store, bro. He could see any person's name just by looking at them. But at the cost of a half of your lifespan, though. But Light knew he needed her to dep in his bag so he could kill people 10 times easier. So he made her pose as his girlfriend. Damn. So time passes, and one day, L ends up capturing Misa, suspecting her of being the second Kira. Because they raided her apartment and just found a bunch of shit. So she got put in confinement. So Light hey, said, no. it, it's time to activate my master plan. So to make sure Misa did not confess, he had her make her relinquish ownership of the death note so it would wipe all of her memories of it then had Rim and Ryuk swap notebooks and in the notebook he wrote down two BS rules that basically said if the person that is using the notebook hasn't wrote down a name in 13 days they die and if you destroy the notebook all the humans that have used it will die so he told Rim go give this notebook to a greedy power hungry bastard and let them become Kira while I give myself up to L relinquish ownership of the death note and go into solitary confinement for a total of 50 days and that's what Light did because on Day seven of his confinement, Light gave up his ownership of the Death Note and lost all of his memories of it to take all suspicion off of him. And on day 15, the murder started back up again. And the person murdering these people was Mr. Kiyosuke Higuchi of the Yotsuba group. So <laughs> him and this group decided to kill other businessmen to further the growth of their company. These niggas was Disney just building a bigger monopoly, but they died. <laughs> Disney. Exactly. <laughs> Yo. Yo, remember that freaking old rumor? That old rumor that um, that I, I think I, I I watched it in Family Guy that said that the, the, or or is it Futurama that the freaking they have the head of Di Walt Disney frozen under the freaking Disney Disney um, <laughs> um campus. <laughs> I'm telling you, waiting for a day where they can revive that new yo. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Downfall was they had some rats, and that was these two right here, because they basically sold out and was talking to L the whole time. So over time, after Light and Misa was released from confinement, and L and Light, the two smartest niggas on the earth working on the case simultaneously, ended up figuring out that it was Higuchi. So one night they end up baiting him out with a fake broadcast saying that they're about to reveal who Kira is. So later on, while this man is speeding down the road, he ends up getting stopped by a cop. So the cop do his thing. He like license and registration, please. So Higuchi's like, all right, all right, all right. but this man was not reaching for the license. He was reaching for the death note and he made the shinigami ideal so he could see the officer's name so he wrote bro's name down but then just hit the gas and took off so this man starts a whole high speed chase running from this cop and about five seconds later the cop ends up having a heart attack and crashes into the back of a truck another victim by truck coon damn this nigga's on a tear so that man l said all units arrest this nigga and i kid you not this shit went from death note to tokyo drift so this yeah. man had the 
whole task force chasing him, L Light and Watery in the chopper, and they was not playing games. They said, this shit ends tonight. So while this man Higuchi is speeding on the road, this man runs into a police blockade. So he ends up getting cornered, and he is trapped. So he tries to drive the other way, but FaZe Watery is up here on the helicopter and says, not on my watch, fuck boy, and shoots his tire out, makes him spin out, and he crashes into the wall. And it was over for Higuchi. They surrounded that man. So they cuff him, pin him down, and they start interrogating him. Now here is where this master manipulator plan comes full circle. So while yeah. they're interrogating him, Higuchi tells him that there is a notebook that allows him to do all of his killings. So Light Dad goes in and searches the car, and he finds the death note. So when he touches it and starts looking through it, he ends up seeing the rim and freaks the fuck out. So then the other detective comes over, and he says, Chief, are you all right? The fuck you screaming for? Oh, shit! So that man, L, says, bring the notebook over to the helicopter. So L gets the notebook and just starts staring into nothingness, just going into a deep thought. But he ended up realizing there has to be more than one notebook because there were two Kiras. And while that was happening, Light was like, let me see it. And Light grabbed the notebook and started tweaking. Bro, like he entered the Avatar state. Every single memory came back into this man's head. So L was like, uh, bro, are you good? And Light was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm perfectly fine. It swaps over to his face and it's over. This nigga just thinks. Yes, yes, I've won! <laughs> All according to plan. So this man pulls out a piece of paper that he had in his watch, plucks himself and makes him bleed, and writes down Higuchi's name with his blood. And 40 seconds later, while they're taking him back to the car to arrest him, Higuchi has a heart attack, falls to his knees, and dies. And look at this man's face, bro. It is all over. It was just about to get worse from here. So they get back to headquarters and they start looking over the death note and they find those fake bogus rules that Light made. And that fake 13 days rule basically cleared him and Misa's name. So they were off the hook. So this is when Light's mass manipulation went overboard. He made Misa go find the other death note, gain all of her memories back, then left a note saying, yeah, you remember that guy, L? Find his real name and kill him. So she makes the Shinigami ideal again, cutting her lifespan in half again and he makes her start killing people again and this is where rim ended up realizing what light's full plan was and that was to get suspicion back on misa so that rim would have to intervene and kill l to protect misa because rim deeply cared about misa so it was pretty much wraps from here the power and that is what i was talking about the mani yo the manipulation yo yo <laughs> Oh, that was crazy, though. That was crazy. And it was, it was, it was peak fiction. <laughs> I'm telling you. Power goes out, and she didn't already kill Watery. This old man fighting for his life. So he ends up deleting all the data. And then a few seconds later, it happens. L has a heart attack, falls over. And before he dies, the last thing that he sees is this evil, dickheaded <laughs> ass smirk just to rub it in at the last second. And the lights went out. L was yeah. dead. Now here comes the attitude swap up. Look at this fucker, he's like, oh no, it was the Shinigami guys. You know, y'all, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I really do hate this nigga. But I have to admit, game is game. This man is the best mass manipulator right beside this bastard. So then later he- Who is that? Who is that? I don't know who that is. Um, 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 okay. Uh, uh, I've watched a lot of anime, but not, not a lot of good stuff. You know, a lot of brain rotten. You know, big titty anime stuff, you know, yeah, culture type stuff, you know, quality type stuff. <laughs> but yeah, you remember High School DXT? I watched a lot of that when I was growing up, and freaking yo, when yo, if that ever starts up back, I'm telling you, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be watching that. <laughs> but that's beside the point. <laughs> um. Some, some, there is a lot of, um, like what they call it, seinen. You have shonen, seinen. Uh, shonen is, uh, for young, young men, and seinen is for older, older men. That's, uh, that's the freaking, um, um, classification for the age, the targeted art audience, age group for the anime that they are watching. And you have, like, shoujo and, um, and, and, uh, what? And Jose, Jose. So, yes, yes, yeah. But that's just a little bit of otaku weeb type knowledge, you know. <laughs> Let's do it. Ends up finding Rim's pile of ashes because she died because she was saving Misa and Light just casually takes his death note back. So after this, Light was about to go on another mass murder requiem. This man stands at the top of the building, pulls out his pen, and just starts going on a rampage. These two people that were on the task force that were basically convicts, yeah, it was rats for them. Bootleg Nina Williams. She's out here riding. <laughs> 
bootleg Nina Williams. <laughs> yes. Yeah, bootleg. <laughs> her motorcycle. She has a heart attack, crashes the motorcycle, and dies. And this next one was tragic. This dude right here, Iber, his wife and kid walks in the room. And the kid's like, Daddy! Just no. to see his dad's corpse fall on the ground. Oh, man, Drama. and y'all remember the Yotsuba group? They thought they were scot-free. Rinji gets up and tells Suguru that we did it, man. This is a new start for Yotsuba. Yeah, man, our stock is about to roar. Just for this man to fall over, pick <laughs> up blood, and old boy right oh, here knew shit. he was cooked. He has a heart attack, and every single member of the Yotsuba group died. But life <laughs> didn't stop there. Now, I have a theory, because they didn't confirm this, but I honestly God think that this is true. While he's on this killing montage, it shows all the past news reporters that have reported on this man. Now, you see this woman right here. Keep this on this board where it shows a bunch of criminals being wiped out she is on the bottom right and her what? picture goes out so that tells me this nigga killed all of the news reporters that said some shit about him i'm sick i'm actually fucking sick nigga said fuck <laughs> bad press y'all can suck my dick tmz <laughs> and after this <laughs> tmz <laughs> yo let's go uh, yo this dude is <laughs> is a comedian. It just got worse. Over the next five years, Light's killings increased tenfold because there was nobody that could stop him. So this is a time where this man had to have dropped off at least a hundred thousand plus. Nigga, yeah. America claimed him as law, judge, jury, and executioner because they couldn't do nothing. Look at George Bush old ass. You know he ain't do shit. <laughs> but I can't blame the old nigga because Light's reign of terror just got worse and worse and worse. <laughs> And then, you know, you know, it's that's not the end of it, because you see that there's a lot of um, um, there's a lot of um, <laughs> video left because <laughs> another spoiler. L has successors. Yeah. <laughs> and contingencies in place, you know, so let's go. I mean, the nigga can control truck tune on command. And the most chilling thing this man ever did was go to L's grave and just start derangingly laughing his ass off. Look at this nigga. He has his ass up. He's twerking at his grave and spitting on his shit. I mean, look at that thing. That shit is moving. This nigga Light said, Tuck, tuh, ate my testicles, nigga. And with Light's victory, we now move into our final set of evidence. Now, at this point in time, Light has taken the mantle of L. Yes, Light just didn't kill L. He took his whole flow, his yes. whole name, and yes. L's successors, Mia and Mello are now on his ass. So Mello in the Mafia decided to kidnap the director of the MPA so they could trade him for the death note. So guess what Light did? Ding, 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 you probably guessed it. Light kills the director of the MPA so the Mafia will lose their leverage. But guess what? That's just the start of this last little list that I have. So you want to hear some more terrible shit? I got you. So since Light killed the director of the MPA, Mello and the Mafia decided let's kidnap this man's sister so they could get more leverage. So after this whole trade went down and they got back his sister, she was so traumatized by this experience her mind was broken she was so fucked up she couldn't even talk had her in a wheelchair and everything at arkham asylum and his Man. sister was sadly a victim of his actions but guess who also was a victim of his actions his daddy yeah this man used his dad as a pawn. So to get back that death note, Light decided to relinquish his and made Misa send a message that said, Kira will be relinquishing his death note to somebody in the task force. And guess who took ownership of that death note and made the Shinigami ideal? His daddy. So later on, they end up raiding Mello's hideout. And at the end of the raid, Light tells his dad to confront Mello. So while Light's dad is confronting Mello, Light's dad was hesitant about writing his name down and killing him. So one of the dudes that was left alive shoots his dad in the back and Mello blows up his hideout. So after this, they are in the hospital and Light's dad is about to die. So you know what this sick, pathetic bastard does? He says, Dad, please, before you go, you've got to write his name down. Is this nigga serious? Come on, old motherfucker, help me out here, damn it. Do something useful for your son before you fucking die. Oh my God. Get him the fuck out of here. Get him the, please. <laughs> Black, get him the fuck. POV. <laughs> Light applying for the round table. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Out of here! Like, I can't begin to tell you how pathetic this shit was. Yo dad is about to die. Because of your actions, by the way. And you mm -hmm. begging this gonna get somebody's name for your personal gain. Sick bastard. And this wasn't even the worst part. Since his dad had the Shinigami eyes, he looked at Light and said, Oh, sonny boy, I'm glad to see that you not Kira. Because I could see your lifespan. I could die at peace. 
This man's dad died not knowing that his son was Kira because he relinquished that death note. Because the thing was that if you were a user of the death note, a person with Shinigami eyes could not see your lifespan. So his dad died living a lie sickening shit and his blood is on light's hands so this man joins yeah. doflamingo in the patricide club now we have come down to our last <laughs> major victim and this one was just peak manipulation so while kira's influence was growing stronger in the world and light was out here inciting riots to stop near he needed the right people to spread his message so the ex kira teru mikami who was basically light's right hand man that he personally chose after making misa relinquish her death note again and losing all of her memories decided we need a change of management so this fat nigga Demigawa, who is the leader of Kira's kingdom and is the spokesperson for this cult, decided to stream their Sunday service on TV. Tell me how you feel now. Yes, Lord. So Mikami said, fuck these niggas. So he deletes every single one of these on live TV. Yo, they didn't have. Yo, I remember that. I remember that. <laughs> that was so over the top. It was 100% anime, and I applaud it, bro. I applaud, I applaud it. I, I, I was so excited. Because <laughs> there is no way you should be that flashy, that over the top, that epic, that freaking too much, that OD, while writing someone's name in a book. Yo, like, look at this. He said, fuck these niggas. So he deletes every single one of these lunatics on live TV. Delete. Then he saved Demi Gall's fat ass for last. He said, the doors of the church are open, but not for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so after Mikami disbanded the church of Kira, he chose a loyal supporter of Kira to be the next spokesperson. And that was Kiyomi Takada, Light's ex-girlfriend back in college. So you see where this is probably going to go, right? <laughs> So Light convinced the task force that we should use Shorty to get some more leverage on Kira and find out who that is. But obviously, Light had ulterior motives with her. So one night, he meets up with her. So here go this manipulation riz. How you doing, yeah. Shorty? You looking as fine as ever. <laughs> exactly, Tanjiro. Exactly. Exactly. That, that, that laugh. Yo, CJ could not. CJ must have freaking looked himself in the mirror for about an hour after he did that laugh. <laughs> And he just had her in the palm of his hand. So he basically told her, look, shorty, I'm Kira. And I see that my dog has chosen you as my spokesperson. So I'm going to make you the goddess of the new world. And she was so ecstatic. She was entrenched in this nigga. And yeah, y'all could probably guess what happened after this. Now they don't show it, but let's be real. Light like the pipe on her ass. So after Light got done getting his freak on and getting Takata to work with him, he had shorty basically being another Kira. So he made Mikami make a fake notebook and sent the actual names to Takada, bringing her in and making her do some damn killing. And she was just dignitized. She had that Jeffrey Dahmer syndrome when Shorty's mm. was just fiending over that nigga for some mm. odd reason. But <laughs> time for shit to get crazy. So one day, Takada ends up getting ran up on and kidnapped by Melo. So a couple hours pass and Melo started trying to interrogate her. Bro pulled out the gun and said, all right, chop, chop. Take off them clothes and start shaking them booty cheeks. I'm gonna blow your fucking brains out, bitch. So while she starts stripping, she ends up taking a piece of the death note out that she had on her bra. So while Melo's transporting her in the back of his truck, she ends up calling light and she on the phone saying, Oh my god, baby, please help me. This weird nigga came, put me in the back of my truck, and told me to shake my booty cheeks. So light said, Baby, calm down. Now did you do what I told you to do if you ever got in a situation like this? Yeah. And that is what she did, because she wrote Melo's name down and killed that nigga. But Light, being a sick and twisted bastard, decided, nah, I'm going to get as much out of you as I can until your gas tank is empty, bitch. So Light told her on the phone, The time has come. Execute order 66. <laughs> so he made her call up Mikami and made her tell him, send me as many criminals as you can so I can go on a killing spree. So while she was doing that, Light was just sitting in the car on the way to go pick her up. And in his head, he just said, man, you know what? You should have never went to that frat party without me, bitch. And it was all over for Shorty. Light made her unalive herself by burning herself alive and setting everything on fire to get rid of every single piece of evidence. 
And just like that, that was Light Yagami's final victim. Because the next day on January 28th, this nigga got cooked. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie, with the final confrontation with Nier, Light got cooked. This nigga went out so sad, bro. Nier read this motherfucker like a book. It was actually fucking hilarious seeing this nigga lose his mind. Because Mikami utterly failed. The so Light tried to pull a fast one, but Masuda just dumped bullets in his ass. So for Light to escape, Mikami just unlocked himself. Nigga committed seppuku, and Light just ran away. But they didn't even bother chasing him. He was done. So Ryuk watching over the whole thing thing was just like well i'll give it to you like you was one entertaining motherfucker but i need my notebook back and on january 28th 2010 anime's most deadliest serial killer dies of a heart attack man how everything comes full fucking circle doesn't it buddy yes because ryoko was looking for entertainment so he <laughs> he just he, that man telling you know, yo he was a freaking supernatural, supernatural being that freaking used a human for entertainment because that human seemed uh, interesting, and he he could manipulate that 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 um you know um that probably you know that um condition that you you can you feel like you you're made for something bigger than what you already than what you already have. And exploit it in the worst way possible. <laughs> I'm telling you. <sighs> All right, everybody, it's time for our final tally. Now, obviously, keeping kill count in this is literally impossible because there were mad off screen deaths. And he just wasn't killing criminals, he was killing innocent people too. And also, yes. people with just petty crimes. He probably killed your ass if you got a speeding ticket. Because this motherfucker was just evil. I mean, you know how many families he probably tore apart doing this shit? Yes. Shit. What liking was one prayer for these families, man? But here's what we'll do. If one of y'all can get an actual reasonable number and people actually agree with you, I'll pin the comment and we'll make that our number. But well, you know what that number gonna be right now? Drum roll, please. A lot. A lot. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I ain't lying. <laughs> anyway, man, case closed. And that is another installment of Enemies Daily of Serial Killers. So, hope y'all enjoyed and uh, get ready, baby. Because our next draw is gonna be the beefiest one we've ever had. Yes. Yo, you serious? I'm already giving you a warning right now. So, until then, I'm out this time. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of uh, what kind of freaking year was that? But okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> that aside, yo. <laughs> yo, I need to I need to check out that that first that first uh, uh installment of this like anime's deadly serial killers. I'm telling you, and um um <sighs> I I still I, I I was still rooting for light, you know, but. <laughs> that was crazy though that was crazy <laughs> people i'll see you in the next one you know it's full i thank you for watching the video if you made it this far i really appreciate it and i would very much like to petition you for a subscription <laughs> yeah if you don't feel like it yeah that that's what that's whatever it is you know and if you've already subscribed i appreciate you and thank you and let's get this yeah more anime related reactions are coming to the channel i'm telling you i need to double down on that because <laughs> i need to freaking literally like made us make a schedule and itemize it you know so yeah guys see you in the next one peace out itekimasu let's get this let's get this it's full later people <laughs>